everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to episode number 26 of Syndicate Shenanigans. We're getting very close to finally 100%ing this game. I've done a little bit off camera since um, ending the Jack the Ripper DLC. I've 100 percent the Jack the Ripper DLC. I did all the missions on camera, and then I later went back and got all the collectibles and shit. I did miss one um, Assassin Intel. I thought there were only five, but it turns out there were six. So I'm gonna pull up the sixth intel right now, unless I don't think I can look at it when I'm not in the Jack the Ripper DLC, so let me see real quick. Okay, so it looks like I can't access it in the main game, so I'm just gonna look it up right now. Uh, I should have had this pulled up beforehand, but I kind of forgot about it. I thought I had gotten all of the, uh, the Helix glitches, but I didn't. There were some that were in the, um, the whole prison ship level, and there were a couple more that I was missing at Lady Ower's Manor that I didn't know I was missing, so... I didn't have them all when I thought I did, so I did, in fact, miss one. This is the one. This is the very last one you can get in the Jack the Ripper DLC, and it's from Bishop to all assassins, and the subject is called Going Dark, and this is what it says. Your messages have been received, and after much deliberation, William Miles has decided to enact the Rooftop Garden Protocol. As of this moment, all unnecessary communications on this network will cease. Above all, your primary target remains Dr. Grammatica and his lab. If you find either, do not engage. Report to me immediately, and we will assemble a strike team. Outside of this, you are free to choose your own targets, so long as you follow the creed. I will be in touch when necessary. To any initiates reading this, that would be us. Thank you for your great service. For your own safety, we will not be contacting you for the foreseeable future, but the fight isn't over, and there's a good chance you'll hear from me again. Until then, stay safe, Bishop. So that's the one that we missed. I was thinking about saving that one but then i was like i'm never i'm not gonna load up the whole dlc just to read one intel and then load up the main game again so i went ahead and read it ahead of time sorry but that's what it says so it looks like maybe the present day for this new 2017 or 2018 assassin's creed game is not maybe it won't have anything to do with the initiates or maybe they're just not going to contact us until the events of this new game who knows but because they are taking a break so anyway Back to what we have left in the main game. We don't have much. Um, under miscellaneous, I have gotten all collectibles, as you can see, except I'm missing one, two, viewpoints in World War One. That's all I'm missing. I've gotten everything else, including the secrets. The secrets of London, meaning the thing to open that vault with to get something with that I have no idea. I've gotten all those. So it's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to, to Rouge's vault and unlock whatever's in there and i'm really excited so as you see i have two charles dickens missions left um and then the rest of them are the darwin dickens conspiracy dlc which i haven't touched yet i don't think either that or i've done one mission i've got a couple train missions left um let's see for charles darwin i have one two three charles darwin's missions left and then the darwin dickens conspiracy i have one Karl marx mission left i have one queen victoria mission left and that's the last maharaja dlc so i've gotten all those yeah, so we have mostly side activities left, and then a couple of viewpoints in World War One, and that's all we got. And also, I have one more burrow to liberate, and that's the Strand, and it's a bounty hunt for Milton King. That's all we have left, and then I will have 100%ed the entire fucking map. So, we're gonna do that second, so we're gonna go ahead and fast travel over there, and unlock whatever the hell's in there. Yeah. And I'm playing as Jacob in this episode because we spent a whole four or five episodes of the Jack the Ripper DLC playing as Evie. So we're back with Jacob! Hey! In a brand new outfit. I forget what this outfit is, but it's covered in Ubisoft blue, I believe. And it's beautiful. And I love it. Ali oop! Ugh! Odd me! Excuse me! Eh! Hup. I wonder if this Rouge's vault has any historical significance, if it actually exists or not. But okay, in we go. I'm so excited! I want to see what's in here. What the hell is that? Oh, all the discs that I've collected. I need to put them all in. Okay, but here's the vault. And I need to... Wow, okay. I assume there's one of these things for all the burrows. You're not gonna make me put them all in individually, are you? No, okay, good. This is taking a while, <laughs> but the anticipation is killing you, isn't it? <laughs> there it is. 
What is that? There's something glowing in there. Something precursor, perhaps? Ooh, maybe. <gasps> like the equivalent of the Mayan armor from uh, Black Flag, maybe? It's gonna be the whole fucking episode. It's just me putting in these discs. Well, they are different. It's floating around in there. That's weird. One left. Okay, it's definitely an outfit. And it looks creepy, but also awesome. Alright, here we go. Last one. Ooh, I'm excited. Is it for Jacob or Evie or both or... Open sesame. Here we go. Whoa. Okay, wow. That's definitely for Evie. Oh, it's beautiful. I can just go and pick it up. You don't mind I take the glory from you, dear sister. It's all glitchy looking. That's creepy. All right, let's take it. Come be with me, Evie. There you go. Wow. I suppose I've got another suit back there, do you? That one looks a bit tight for me. <laughs> and you would look a right tit in it. Well, Evie. Language. Yay! He's looking at it like, the fuck? Look at his face. He wants one too. Oh, but okay, I did it. And I got 4,400 4, XP. Hot Damn. Awesome. I like that stuff. The Secrets of London. Okay, so Evie's got a precursor outfit that I'm going to switch the ages. Oh, it's beautiful. Achievement! Godlike. Unlock all of the Secrets of London. There's a desk in my way. God damn it. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so next episode, when I switch to Evie, I'm going to put that on immediately. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, though. It's like a precursor outfit for Evie. That's beautiful, but okay. Next thing is we're going to go ahead and kidnap Milton King over in the Strand. We're going to liberate our last borough. We're going to do our final gang war. And it's going to be with Jacob and it's going to be cool. And I might have to pause the episode. Who knows? <laughs> now where is Mr. Milton King? Ah, the big Ben is on lit up tonight. How beautiful. There he is. Over there. Actually, I might want to go visit the, the store. I don't know exactly if I need to, but might as well. Pardon me, Mr. Nelson. Oof. Okay, perfect. There's a general store right outside the restricted area. Hello. Oh, I'm missing some stuff. Alright, thank you very much. Okay. Where is Mr. Milton King? A oh, wait! I recognize this place. You need to be here for the story. Uh, sequence 8 specifically. I won't say anything more specific for spoilers, even though the game has been out for almost a fucking year already. But, uh... Can you believe that? When did it, when did this game come out? It was either late October or early November. I don't remember specifically. But yeah, this game's been out for almost an entire year. And here I am still playing it. Oh, there he is. Okay. Bring the target back alive. This is basically the mission from Sequence 8, really. Uh, I never thought I'd see a game spoil itself. There are not very many hiding spots, are there? Okay, hold on. Just stand up outside the restricted area. They won't bother me if I'm outside the restricted area. Also, I have that. I think I've gotten all gang upgrades as well. So, blighters won't attack me if I walk right up to them. They know their place now. They won't attack me. No matter how much I stand here. <laughs> so, it's pretty cool. But of course, once I get in the restricted area, that perk is totally moot. So, I'm going to have to be careful. Oh, fuck off. I'm not in the restricted area yet. You're totally... You're making me out to be a liar! Madam! Come over here! I'm really excited to finish up the uh, Dickens missions as well. Those are my favorite side quests. Oh, you're a sniper, so you won't come over. You bitch. Yep. Well, you suck. Okay, hold on. Hip! Okay. Yeah, this is exact- this is- okay. I feel like I'm playing through the story again. <laughs> Come on over, madam. Oh, no. Quicker, please. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Fuck me! My final kidnapping and I ruined it! No! Hey! Where'd 
are you going? Just stay. I have to be careful not to kill the guy I'm trying to kidnap. Double! Oh, I love that one. Blech! Anybody else here want to challenge me? Didn't think so. Come here, you dick. Unhand me, wretch. Nah, thanks. I'm Don't good. I'm busy. Settle down, Mr. King. Hush. Don't want to draw attention to yourself, do you? What I'm sure you he mean does. This? <laughs> Sergeant Abeline wants a word with you, and your victims want their money back. Ha! <laughs> they think I still have it. How am I? As soon as I touched that coin, it was gone. Well, then you're just gonna have to pay them Suppose back in a different be in way. Prison for debt, then too. Also, well done for like you know, totally confessing. Would you? Ah! Yeah, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna shove you in here. I'll hijack this carriage. This guy, obviously, I have more important things going on than whatever oh, he's head headed to. So, harden. Oh, of course. Steady on. Where the hell did you come from? No, it's an ambush! Ah! I'm driving on the wrong side of the road! I mean, if I were in America, it'd be the right side, but... Ah! Leave me alone, you bastards! Let's go. Well, you have a lot of health, my goodness! This is really not working like I thought. Well, the carriage won't go anywhere, will it? So I'll just stay here and murder everyone. Oh yeah, triple kill! Wah, yeah! Yeah! There, we're done! I successfully delivered him! Perfectly! Damn it! Self-loading pistol! What?! Oh my god, I need that immediately. I just reached level 5 with Freddy, too! Awesome! Now the only ally I'm missing, I believe, is um, is uh, Winston Churchill, and then I'll get that achievement. But I need to go back to World War One for that, obviously. And the gang war is up there, and I believe whoever this is, I left them alive. Right? Didn't I? Victor Lynch. Yes, he's still alive. Fight to conquer the Strand, and I get a Black Death belt. That seems like in poor taste, considering the city I'm in. <laughs> but okay, self-loading pistol. I am going to equip that right now. Holy crap, it's so much better than my pesto! Oh, right. I did that on purpose. There's an achievement where um, you have to, like, counter shot. I think it's 20 enemies. Where if they try to shoot at you, you hit Y and then you, like, shoot them first. You gotta do that 20 times. Um, it's easier with a lower level pistol because you can get multiple shots on one guy. So it's easier to do. And I just forgot to switch to a more highly leveled one. Whoopsie. But okay. This is the one I want. I have to craft that. No, I'm actually okay with the weapons I've got right now. I'm just checking real quick. What about belts? Beer collector belt? A much nicer garment than the beer belly belt. Nobody wants that one. <laughs> Speaking of that, the, the beer collector belt, um, I didn't know, but for every like beer thing you, you collected in this game, it's a set of collectibles, Sean totally tries it and tastes it and has his like reviews on what it tastes like. And they're really funny. So, uh, here, I'll, I'm gonna look up a couple for you. Big Bastard Ale. Oh god, this one has bits in. I've changed my mind, I don't want to do this anymore. No, no, I have to. This is bigger than me. This is important work for culinary archaeology. Tell my mom I love her. <laughs> what the hell? The Big Bastard lives up to its name with an intense dish rag flavor and a mouthfeel more akin to al dente pasta than beer. The finish is apparently three hours of psychosis, to judge by the lost time and the 17-age handwritten diatribe on the mating habits of finches I found on my desk. Excuse me, I might just pop to the loo for the 17th bloody time in an hour. Aww. Pours a clear, bilious yellow color. That's disgusting. I've never actually seen a color I'd describe as bilious before now, but that's what Alistair Benedict Brewer seems to be aiming for, and by God, they've nailed it. Rotten grain dominates the flavor profile, which is an unusual choice, Choice, excuse me, balanced by a musty funkiness reminiscent of the water that pools at the bottom of a poorly drained gym shower. Oh, God! What's this I detect? Actual hops? Grain that might have been threshed sometime after the agricultural revolution? Water boiled long enough to actually kill a microbe? 
Actual wooden kegs. Oh, bravo, Dr. Garrett. A lovely, balanced flavor, strong but not overpowering nose, uh, and a light and pleasant mouthfeel. You've restored my faith in British beer making. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, good. Well, if I ever visit England, I know what to get now. <laughs> Dr. Garrett's ale. Okay, um, I've got my text. Pardon me. A cheeky afternote of coal fire rounds out an overall flavor profile I can best summarize as London sweatshop. Oh, God. Just trying to identify the ingredients has put me on several bioterror watch lists. <laughs> that was going to be the last one I was going to read. I'm not going to read through all these. But uh, there's one here called Fry and Fry. That's got to be funny. Are you sure this is meant to be drunk? Because it tastes for all the world like a new concoction for Evie and Jacob's poison darts. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to read through all those, but they're really funny. So, okay. And I've collected all the royal correspondences, but we won't read those because they're boring. Before we go ahead and head over to the gang war, since I'm in here, let's listen to one assassin intel. We'll do number 10 next time, okay? So here we go. Location redacted. September 25th, 2015. Let's see. Hello, Elvira. What the hell do you want? Don't look so glum. Let me tell you what I've been working on lately. Turn up we a bit. sent Berg to India last year to chase a lead involving Koei Muir. It was a dead end. But we did manage to find some data on an assassin from the 1800s. Arbaz Mir. And? And? Well, that's all very interesting. When we looked further into his genetic line, we found this. Arbaz Mir's son was in London. So what? Look closer. Blah, Henry Green. Blah, assumed name Henry Green. Blah, blah. CMC and the assassins were searching for... Oh, my God. You found another one. My teams are working outward from this sample. We've scoured Helix and tracked down a set of memories from the Grand Master of the British Right, Prophet Steric. We're also looking for data on other assassins of the era. Don't you have anyone searching for the new shroud? No one yet. You want to call him Berg? As soon as humanly possible! Okay. Well, that's basically leading up to... You know, them finding the shroud before us. You know, we've seen the ending of the game by this point, so... We know what that leads up to, but we still got one more to listen to, but we won't listen to it just yet. We're going to save that for next episode, which is almost time for, but I'm going to go ahead and do this gang war. My butt hurts. Here we are. Our last gang war of the entire game. Are we ready? Let's do this. We need your help to firm our hold on this borough. All right, I haven't killed him. So this is going to be a little harder, but it's okay because I'm fully decked out. Awesomeness. Victor Lynch got nothing. Maybe. <laughs> Mr. Lynch has agreed to your terms. In exchange, he will be fighting with electrochemical bombs. Um. He sends his highest regards and encourages you to bring your bravery. That's, uh... That could be a little bit problematic, don't you think? Electrochemical bombs? You mean they're gonna electrify me and poison me? Oh, fantastic. You wasted one. Hey, I got him to waste one. Yay. Charge! Ow. Ow. You. You level nines mean nothing to me. Where the hell did you materialize from? <laughs> what other realm is he from? Hey buddy, you ready to fight now? That's hilarious. What am I gonna do? Fight fire with fire! Or in this case, fight electricity with electricity! BAM! Get those arms down, you bitch! chance to throw one yeah oh he thought he was hot shit he ain't hot shit I'm hot shit and my sister of course <laughs> my lovely sister boss yeah London is officially ours ladies and gentlemen we have conquered let me try and name all the boroughs, fuck. Whitechapel, City of London, Southwark, the Thames, Lambeth, Westminster, 
And uh, this one. The fuck. The strand. <laughs> the one we just did. is the one I forgot. Am I missing one somewhere? I think I got them. All seven? There's seven burrows, yes? Hey! I got a new belt. I got an achievement. And I have officially fully liberated London. Yeah! Oh, it feels good! Okay, we're finally making some substantial progress in this game. But unfortunately, well, speaking of unfortunately, I'm gonna go ahead and... What? Are you guys seriously think this is fair? Hey! Feel big? Four of you beating on one guy on the ground? Huh? How do you fuck off? Pick a fight with me, see how far you get, huh? You're welcome, sir. You're very welcome. And there goes my train. <laughs> Wait! Train! Ah, it's further than I thought. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it! Oh, yep. There's a bigger drop there than I thought as well. Yep, I missed my train. Fuck. Well, <laughs> that's a good place to stop this episode of Syndicate Shenanigans. I hope you guys are enjoying. Like and favorite if you are. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.